Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Um, today we're going to be looking at the very special armor um, known as Shaft Stop. So when it comes to armors, um, not a lot of armors have like these amazing statistics that, um, that allow them to do some pretty ridiculous things. And although Shaft Stop is not specifically like the absolute end-all be-all of armors it is however a pretty amazing armor because of one specific statistic on it and as we go over it i think you'll understand what i mean so um let's take a look at it together and um let's see what we can uh, dig dig up so Shaft Stop has 684 defense. Uh, it is a strength requirement of only 92, which is relatively low. Uh, it has a level requirement of only level 38, which is pretty amazing for what this armor offers. It has a defense, which varies from 180 to 220% enhanced, which means that you can end up with anywhere between a 599 defense to 684 defense Shaft Stop. Um, it also has a pretty massive 250 defense versus missile, which will add on top of the regular defense um, on any missile attack that comes in, which actually can come in pretty handy uh, versus, you know, those evil fire archers. Uh, we also have a pretty hefty bonus to life of plus 60, which is pretty nice. And obviously, um, as you can see with my character, um, I'm going to show you uh, really quickly whether or not it works with shouts, because why not? Uh, so we have 1,640. Let's go ahead and beef our HP up here. So we are now at 3,377. Uh, and uh, when I put on the armor, you see I gain a lot more than just 60 HP because it can be multiplied by uh, things like shouts and whatnot. So that 60 is going up a lot higher than, um, than just 60. I go from 377 to 3,508. And uh, it's pretty sweet. But the real money maker on this armor, the real reason why people use it, is the 30% damage reduced by number. So in the game, there are resistances, as you can see from my panel. Um, I have like 43% fire resistance, 43% lightning, but it doesn't tell you what your physical resistance is. A lot of people don't know this, uh, but uh, physical resistance is actually a real stat, and it should be up here, but it's not. Uh, physical resistance can, can go up to 50%. That is the cap. However, you can protect yourself even further from physical resistance by going above the cap. A lot of people will tell you that it's wasted, but it's not wasted. Uh, because one of the most common curses in the game is Amplify Damage. Amplify Damage reduces your physical resistance by 100%. Which means that if you were at 0, you go down to negative 100, which is the lowest you can possibly go. However, if you're at, uh, say, 50%, and somebody curses you with Amplify Damage, you still get reduced by 100%, which means you go down to negative 50. Which means you're now going to be taking 50% more physical damage than you would normally. Which means that to protect yourself from Amplify Damage, you have to be at 100, basically, uh, sorry, uh, we have 100% uh, physical damage reduction. Now, unfortunately, because the cap is 50%, 50% of that will be wasted, essentially, unless you are cursed. However, when you are cursed, that negative 100 will be canceled out by your positive 100, and you'll be at zero. But to completely cancel it out and get your 50%, you would need 150% physical damage reduction, which is just massive. And there are very few characters that can pull this off. Uh, one in particular would be the Assassin with the Fade skill, which also offers physical damage reduction. Now, physical damage reduction is one of those things that you do actually need in Hell Difficulty, and I have found that if you don't have at least about 15% physical damage reduction, you're going to have a bad time when you get stuck in a melee encounter. Now, it also comes in the ethereal form, as you can see, at 1,027 defense, which is pretty sweet, and uh, it has a lower strength requirement of 82 with the same level requirement of 38. Now, the reason why the ethereal version is so sweet is that you can put it on a mercenary, and the, the very, very nice 30% damage reduction will help keep your mercenary alive. Uh, now, you can also upgrade this, and this is one of the coolest things about this, is you can upgrade it from the mesh armor to the bone weave. 
Now we're going to go through the process of upgrading this and I want you guys to see the stats as it gets upgraded because it does upgrade very nicely and, uh, and as a merc armor or a player armor um, it is actually a pretty sweet one to upgrade. So you're going to need a Lem Rune, a Co Rune, and a Perfect Diamond. And uh, it's going to go from 684 defense, 92 strength, level 38, to the Bone Weave. Uh, 1612 defense, 158 strength requirement, and level 54. Not bad. Uh, 158 strength is actually not bad at all, and it's only two points above a Monarch Shield. So keep that in mind. Uh, we also have the Shaft Stop Mesh Armor in the Ethereal form, which is 1,027 defense, 82 strength, and level 38. Again, Lemco Perfect Diamond. And uh, this is going to upgrade to 2,000 defense. Nice. Uh, with only a strength requirement of 148 and a level requirement of 54. Now, as you can see, the Ethereal version is a very sexy plate for a Mercenary. It's going to offer him a massive 2,000-point defense, a very nice 250 defense versus Missile, which is something that kills my Mercenary a lot, as well as a nice little bonus to life and a 30% physical damage reduction. Now, we were talking earlier about the physical damage reduction cap being 50%. So if you're just trying to hit 50%, you don't want to worry about overprotection, Shaft Stop Armor gets you there like more than halfway. You only really need another 20% to hit the cap with Shaft Stop Armor. So, uh, so any other physical damage reduction that you can add in there will be very nice. You can also socket Shaft Stop Armor, and you can make it even better for your mercenary or for yourself. You can add in a Shale Rune, for instance, which would get you some faster hit recovery. You could put in a 15% increased uh, uh, attack speed jewel, maybe with some other nice effects. Uh, you could also potentially put in an um rune for some resistances. Uh, there is a myriad of possibilities that you could do with the shaft stop armor, and especially if you upgrade it to the to the very nice bone weave, uh, you've got a very nice amount of defense there. You've got a very nice amount of defense versus missile, extra life, damage reduced by, all very 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 sexy. Now, granted, there are definitely better armors than this, but if I was a uh, solo self-found character or I was just leveling up and I didn't really have anything better, um, this armor could definitely come in handy to help keep me alive on a melee character. Also, um, specifically for mercenaries, this armor is freaking sexy as all get out for mercs and can help keep your merc alive in very tough situations. Now, granted, it's not going to help him against elemental damage, but when he's in there getting his butt beat by the cows, for instance, which are all physical, uh, this is a really good choice for the cows. If you're a, um, a Javazon, for instance, who runs the cow levels on a regular basis. Um, giving your mercenary physical damage reduction is very important because your merc is in there getting his butt beat by all them cows, and every single one of them cows is dealing physical damage. So you probably want to get him at least 50% physical damage reduction if you're going to run cows on a regular basis. Um, let's also take a look and see where we could potentially find this over on Silo's Pen. So we're going to take a look over on Silo's Pen, and um, let's assume, because this is a relatively low level armor honestly uh that we're gonna have maybe let's say about 150 percent magic find i feel like that's a good number um and then uh, let's pull up the shafty stoppy stoppy shaft shafty stop is it the shaft stop no it's not the shaft stop poop, 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 poop. <laughs> they always get me with that. They put the V on there, and then I'm like, oh, it's, well, okay, well, the shaft stop. But it's not the snapshot this time. All right, so let's take a look at probabilities, and uh, let's ignore the quest flags, except for Andariel, because she's the only one that can be bugged, uh, reliably anyway, or rather, she always is bugged now. But it does look like Mephisto in Nightmare Difficulty with 1 and 1,246 is uh, the best bet there. Uh, we also have a pretty easy um, Night Diablo in Nightmare, who is also very easy to farm. Uh, in Nightmare Difficulty, Diablo is super easy to farm. You know exactly where he is. You can kill the seal uh, guardians relatively quickly. I feel like Nightmare Diablo uh, farming is actually super easy. Um, then, of course, we also have Hell and Doriel here. And... Um, well, some interesting choices. Um, as far as trying to find it early on, though, it definitely does seem like your Nightmare Mephisto there is your best bet. 
Uh, Duriel is a troll and never drops me anything good except for Scrolls of Town Portal. And those are not good. Uh, let's take a look at Super Uniques real quick and let's see what kind of Super Unique monsters we can farm. Uh, did I not click Super Uniques? There we go. Alright, so we have the Hell Cow King. I mean, that's pretty high level. Not really a good farm for somebody who's trying to get a hold of this uh, early on. Neelothak and Nightmare could be an interesting choice, but he's kind of a pain in the butt to farm. I do have a video up on him if you'd like to uh, look up at that. I, I go over exactly how you find him, um, and uh, you can get to him very quickly every single time. But uh, he still has Corpse Explosion, so you know, watch out for that. Um, not a lot of good choices here. Pretty bad drop rates, to be honest, on a lot of these. And a lot of these monsters aren't even really that great to farm. Cow King and Nightmare has 1 in 12,000. Pretty terrible. Um, Eldritch the Rectifier is uh, pretty easy to get to at 1 in 14,000. Uh, again, not really that great. Shank the Overseer, 1 in 14,000. Um, Doc Farron, 1 in 15,000. Pindle Skin and Nightmare, 1 in 15,000. A lot of really poor chances, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I really feel like Diablo might be your best bet there. I mean, you could theoretically farm, do the do the Shank, you know, Nightmare, uh, Shank, Eldritch, Doc Farron, Pindle Skin combo. It could work out. I'm also seeing Bishy Bosch, Rockinishu, and Treehead Woodfist here, as well as um, Bone Ash, but these are all Hell Difficulty. But they are Act 1 Hell Difficulty, so it could be something that you could farm. These four monsters right here actually have a pretty good chance to drop Harlequin Press Shaco as well. So maybe farming these four monsters might not be a terrible idea. Um, you could maybe do a dual purpose farm there. But as far as um, monsters with the easiest probability to find this particular item, it really does look like Mephisto and Diablo are probably your best bets for early farming. Uh, and because honestly, in Nightmare Difficulty, Mephisto and Diablo are pretty easy to kill. Uh, Diablo is actually super easy to kill in Nightmare Difficulty, so you could probably kill him over and over again relatively quickly with pretty high magic find gear on too, uh, most likely. And Obviously, Nightmare Meph is uh, is also a good choice if you're uh, quick at getting to him. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, Shaft Stop is such a cool armor, though. I always um, just really love the chainmail. I even made my own chainmail. So um, I actually wear I've worn it on a couple of my videos. I should have worn it today. Damn it. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when I am stopping the shaft... And that is a terrible joke, and I need to retire now. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.